MSN Messenger is, without a doubt, an iconic piece of software. During its 15-year existence, it connected millions of users from around the world and held a substantial portion of IM client market share. You may also know the program by its second name, Windows Live Messenger, when it was rebranded in 2005. Whatever you might call it, it's very likely that you have at least heard of this application, and maybe it was the very first IM client that you used. But three years after Microsoft's acquisition of Skype in 2011, MSN Messenger was discontinued for all users and people were encouraged to begin using Skype. And while most of us today probably use Discord for instant communication, today I'll be showing you how to re-experience MSN Messenger as it was before it was discontinued. Let's get started. It's all made possible through Escargo, which is an unofficial server that patched versions of MSN Messenger can connect to. I'll have the website linked down below. Since this is an entirely separate server, you have to create a new account by clicking on the sign up button. You can use any email address that you want, it does not have to be tied to a Microsoft account. Now, Escargo currently supports versions 1.0 to 8.0 of MSN Messenger, but version 8 is what the developers recommend that you use. Windows Live Messenger versions 2009 to 2012 are currently not supported, but according to the website, support for 09 is coming soon. If you want to try out version 1, 2, 3, or 4, you should create an account with a throwaway password as these clients do not have secure login capabilities. To create an account with old MSN support, check the box on the signup page. Once you've signed up for an account, return to the main page and click on the download messenger link. Select your language and then select the version of messenger that you want to download. Escargo provides pre-patched versions of messenger 5.0 to 8.5 but 8.5 is recommended. If you prefer to patch the client yourself, download one of the unpatched versions and follow the respective guide. Versions 1.0 to 4.7 do not have a patched version available as you have to modify a key in the Windows registry to use the custom server. If you choose to patch versions 5.0 to 8.5 yourself, a hex editor is recommended as you have to edit Messenger's executable file. To make things simple for this demo, I'll download the patched version of Messenger 8.5 to my Windows 10 machine. Yes, this version works just fine with Windows 10. If you have Smart Screen enabled, you'll get a warning message since the installer is unsigned. Just choose to run the program and then let it install. Once it's finished, open up the program and sign in with your Escargo account, and boom, welcome back to the 2000s. Now the program works just like you remember it. You can add contacts by their email address and open up a chat window to send messages, emoticons, and nudges. Escargo also provides a couple of additional programs on the download page. One of them is Messenger Plus. This program is not anything new as it was first released back in 2001. What it does is provide some additional functionality to Messenger like tabbed conversations, custom status messages, and the ability to search through chat logs. There's also a tool to install multiple versions of Messenger on one computer, create your own emoticons, and even download a mobile version of Messenger for Android devices. It's obviously not official, but it's still pretty cool. And that's how simple it is to get MSN Messenger up and running on Windows 10 in 2020. I have to say it's pretty awesome that there are developers out there who created this service and allow us to use it for completely free. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to give it a like and get subscribed, and as always, I will see you all in the next video.